Okay, so... Last time on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we beat Chapter 3, we started a little bit of Chapter 4, and then did some side quest stuff, and yeah, we also died a couple of times, because this game is getting pretty hard now. Anyhow. We're off. Uh, I can't remember where I was originally going to go. Probably back to the toy box? What are, what are my items like? Yeah, I do have to go back to Shy Guy's toy box. Oh wait, no, I remember. I was actually... Going to fight. Going to do the boo challenge. First, let's make sure our badges are set properly. Quake hammer is good. Yep, yep. Feeling fine. I think we'll be good for this. Yeah, uh, no money, money. Group focus actually could be nice. That actually is something that could be nice. It would help me get refreshed more easily. Let's see, we're gonna encounter... I don't, I don't think we need any special move other than the hammer. I think I'm gonna do group focus and deep focus. Are you ready for a trial? Yep. All right, let's try the chapter free trial. It's 15 coins, 9 rounds. Alright. Alright, I thought we were going to be seeing this. Ooh, this is great. I probably should have gotten an FP+, plus, actually. But that would have required me to sleep in the inn again, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh no, the fuzzy's really sad to do that. Oh yeah, take that, you stupid fuzzies. Zap-Tap destroys them. You made a quick work of that one. Next is round two. Alright, round two. Okay, we are taking out the Zap first. We are getting him out of there. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, alright! I actually was able to time that properly. Goodbye. <laughs> we got one star point because we killed a bee. Because apparently they're, they're world six enemies. Moving right along, round three is up next. A dry bones? What? That is not an enemy that we're supposed to be facing at this point. <laughs> Good riddance. Ouch! That's rude. I just realized I could have tattled on him. Rats. Oh well. Moving right along, round four. Alright. <laughs> Hyper Goomba time. Okay, they're all gonna charge. Well, this is why we have bow. <laughs> and quick change. <laughs> Because I'm going to use Refresh. So, from what I've seen, Refresh got buffed by, like, a small amount, and then every other Star Spirit got nerfed. Lullaby's not as effective, and um, Star Storm is now really bad. Or not really bad, but it should not... Star Storm should not take two star power if you're going to have it only deal four damage to everybody. I forgot about all of these animations that occur when... Oh my, like, you can see the Goomba skeleton when they get electrocuted. That's crazy. <laughs> it's 
It's one of those things that I always forget about. Nice job, Bo. And now he'll kill himself by jumping on me. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, love ducks. Goodbye. Ooh, we might actually level up in here. We should be awesome. What a great show. Just five rounds left. I'm afraid, though. And I'm afraid because I'm pretty sure that, um... I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to fight a red club at some point. Alright, uh... I actually think I'm going to use Starstorm here, despite ragging on it <laughs> just last round. <laughs> the reason is this will instant kill those hyperclefts, which I really would rather not deal with. Oh, and they still get two star points apiece. Alright, that battle went pretty well. Do do do. We just need three more star points. You made quick work of that, and now it's round six. Okay, a lot of aerial enemies. Just take it one at a time. Oh, I think I, I think I'll level up from this battle. If they each give me one star point. Yep, I will. Sweet. That's perfect. I'm kind of surprised they didn't add in Hyper Spiky Goombas, or Hyper Spiky Para Goombas. I'm truly surprised about that. It seems like a natural thing for the game to do, especially since Hyper Spiky Goombas appeared in Thousand Year Door. Alright, Bo. There you go! I'm still not super consistent at getting the maximum slap, but... Eh, we're good enough. And sweet, that gives us a level up. I'm gonna level up BP, because I still have a bunch of FP pluses I don't have equipped. And that's round six, here's the next one. Here come the clubbers. I also just realized, I didn't check to see if my inventory, I have an empty spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I do. Yep. I think you can hold ten items in this. Alright. That was easy enough. I guarantee that I'm going to have to fight a red club at the end, though. I guarantee it. Just two rounds left. Alright. Is this going to be four clubbas? Three clubbas. Okay. I can work with this. I took a little more damage than I would have liked. But I can always use Refresh, I suppose. Actually, wait. I should probably Power Shell. <laughs> Unsubscribe! You didn't do optimal speedrun strats. Alright, round eight. Just, just bring out the Red Clubba. I knew it. I feel like for this fight, best thing to do is just going to be to out of sight every turn. Because this guy is monstrous in his power. I'm just going to preemptively refresh. Because I feel like this guy is actually strong enough to be able to kill me in a single attack if I can't action guard all his stuff. 
Which, by the way, the game sometimes just does not let you action guard this guy. There we go. There we go. Paracarry is going to actually be key. <sighs> Paracarry, finish him off. Finish him! Oh, wow! Okay, Paracarry actually shot shot. When I didn't have Power Smash, that actually helped. I only got one star point for that guy, really. Congratulations, that was your first time clearing that trial. I'm so proud of you, really. After taking my cut, you earned 27 coins from that trial. As for your prize, I hope you like it, this, because you've certainly earned it. We get a Life Shroom! Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I like it. There you go. I, I appeased all Paracarry fans, because I actually used him in battle. I hope you guys are happy. Now then, let's uh, adjust our badges, because <laughs> we have an extra free BP. Actually, because we can take off that and that. I could get refund, but I probably don't need it. I think I'm going to go for Power Smash. Yeah, Power Smash. I think that could help in Shy Guy's Toy Box a little bit. Oh, no, I can't get into my storeroom. Can you at least let me... Nope, he will not let me store anything. Wow. All right. <laughs> well, before I do anything else, I'm going to take a nap. Oh, also, we need to go back to Koopa Village because we read the news for Koopa Koot. I don't remember what the news is anymore, but... Mario does. Hey, you old coot! Creepin' crazy days is your pure class, Mario! Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so, it's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding youngsters today. Now I'm hip. Why don't you take this for helping me? Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take it. Oh, what luck, eh? We'll have to care with the perfect time. I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but I've been ailing a bit lately. I'd like to get a life shroom. How convenient! I just got one. You know, to have on hand, just in case of an emergency. I must have one. I must. Please, please, find one for me. You should be able to find one at select shops. Please hurry. I'm not feeling well at all. You promised to return. Yeah, you can have my life shroom. Oh, by the must shroom, you're a peach, Mario. I feel ten times better and twenty years younger. Maybe I'll go jog. After my nap. Here, take this as thanks. You don't have to be so polite. Take it. And by the way, have you been going to the playroom? Uh, no. I found this old fiend since the last time I saw you. Have a look. It's a gold credit. They gave this to me at the playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck. Make money. <laughs> we get the gold credit. Oh, what a perfect time. Well, I guess the younger generation is not so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but I have a sudden craving for one of tasty, scrumptious nutty cakes. The secret ingredient is the goon nut, which grows on certain trees. If memory serves, which it doesn't always, you can find them near someone's house. I don't know if that helps, but you could still have to find one so tasty can bake the cake. I'm getting pretty famished, actually. Would you hurry up? Promise? He's just asking for items I already have in my inventory, which is great. Bouncing bob -oms. I owe you big time, Mario. Oh, oh, this is heavy. I'm nutty for this cake. Here's a reward for you. Oh, you don't have to be so polite. Take it. Oh, it's Mario. Nice weather we're having. I, you've done all the favors for me now. <laughs> Until you beat this next chapter, that is. There he is. Kawes. Who wants to try the Kawes? Alright. <laughs> I made a mistake last time. Question. What have I got in my pocket? It's a magic green. Correct! Here's your star piece! You've answered 17 questions, but we're not done yet! Let's try the next question! Question! How many twisters are there in Dry Dry Desert? Um, I believe there are three. Oh, come on! There's one near the stone cactus, there's the one near the, the blue cactus, and there's just one more. Unless they added another one. I call foul! <laughs> Oh, yo, well, I want to take a nap in my, in my bed. Yes, please. 
Yes, please. <laughs> did you sleep well? I did, as a matter of fact. I gotta get my coin count back up. Which is why I've equipped the money, money, and payoff badges. Alright, I guess we'll go back to Shy Guy's Toy Box then. Which means we should get out Goombario, because we still have quite a few enemies to tattle on in the toy box. I really want to get the frying pan and the cookbook as soon as possible. Frying pan because I want to be able to make stuff again, and cookbook so we can actually make all the recipes in the game. We gonna save. Oh yeah, that's right. So we've already tried to go over this area before, and then... And seen this cutscene, and then Kami Koopa was like, In your hand, a mushroom! But then we died. See you, Campy Koopa. It's also hilarious if you ch say that the Goomba is the feign Mario fears. <laughs> the Goomba's like, oh man, I have to fight Mario? I'm so screwed! <laughs> Alright, Shy Guys, it's good to have you guys back. Okay, Zap Tap plus bob -omb equals Bad News Bears. Kill the bob as soon as possible. Alright, I can do that. Wow. It's one of the few times Zap Tap is not that great. At least it got me some extra money, though. <laughs> That's what really counts. Wait, how did I- how did I get hit? I jumped on his head! Alright, that's a Sky Guy. Bada beam, bada boom. Gotta use Refresh just for the HP. <laughs> refresh is my only HP refilling item, which is probably a really stupid move. Why am I so bad at action guarding that? Why? Alright, well, let's take out the first Sky Guy. Sweet. Bo can finish him off now. But I'd rather finish off the Sky Guy. There we go! Finally! Jeez, took long enough. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, look at. Hoo <laughs> hoo Money, money, money! <laughs> Give me that star piece. Thank you. Why is there an anti-guy there? Why is there an anti-guy there? You, that is so cruel. I forget what's even... Oh, man, to, so to get that star piece, I have to get past the anti-guy. Well, we are not fighting him. I don't care if he talks all cutesy like. We are not fighting Gray Shy Guy. I knew they were gonna throw anti guys around as common enemies. I just knew it.
I want to get that item block. Thunderbolt. That'll be useful. Okay. Ooh, bob -omb. Okay, we gotta get rid of the bob -omb ASAP. Let's start by refreshing. Oh, yes, Mario, you're so great. And I think we're actually gonna pull a power bomb just to get rid of that bob -omb. They should not have nerfed Star Storm and Power Bomb this much. There we go. I'm finally getting okay at action guarding that. Alright, there you go. Shy Guy is down. And we pick up our mushroom, and we get the f oh the storeroom key. That's right. We don't get the frying pan yet because we haven't gotten to gourmet guy. Oh boy! All right, yeah. Let's let's leave the anti guy alone. That was weird. Can we actually go... No, we can't. <laughs> I'm like, can we actually go to the next train station? No, we can't, because we don't have the train. Silly, Artie. Hey, don't worry, Harry. I got your storeroom key back. Oh, Mario, a sky shy guy stole my storeroom key. Here you go. All right, Mario, you did it! You got my storeroom key! You, thank you so much! You saved my livelihood! Don't worry about it, Harry. Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back. Wow, I can take anything I want? Wow, different stuff. Okay, well, we're definitely taking the toy train. We'll take the snowman doll. Uh, how many items do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Okay. I guess we'll take the hustle drink for now, and now we're... Hopefully, Harry will let us store some of this stuff. Alright, we'll store the hus Hustle Drink. And the Snowman Doll. Um, hmm. And the Mystery for now. I'm gonna cook it once I get the cookbook. And we get the Ice Potato. That's kind of cool that they give you an Ice Potato this early on in the game. I actually really appreciate that. That's normally, like, because the Ice Potato you normally don't get till World 7. And by the time you're in World 7, the Ice Potato is a really bad item. I think I've bought everything here. Yep. Oh, I forgot about this. Get out of here, you stupid shy guy. I want to take a nap. Now that the Shy Guys are gone, you want to take a nap? Oh, yes, please. That would be delightful. Alright, back to the toy box. This time with 100% more train. But before we do, we'll throw the, cho the toy train in the box. And apparently that doesn't shrink when you just drop it on in. Thank goodness we dropped it right at the boost station. I think there's a safe stit block at the next station as well. Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks! Public transit's up and running! You can use the switches in front of the station to choose the train's direction! Have you figured out which way to go? Yes, I want to go to Pink Station. 
All of the board. Next stop, Pink Station. Now arriving at Pink Station. Pink Station. Station stop, Pink Station. So there's this chest over here that's got the mail bag. That's gonna be good to get back to the mail, <laughs> the, the post office. Now people can get audited by the IRS. Stupid Mario. <laughs> I just realized I should have made a cake before starting this chapter so I could sequence break a little. Where is that panel? Where is that panel? There we go, jeez. How did I not... How did I not find that before now? Oh boy, it's Kami Koopa! With a Thunder Rage for yours truly. Yeah, take that, you stupid Sky Guy. Oh no, not the Med Eye guys. Alright, we're gonna take out the Shy Guys one by one and finish with the Med Eye guy. I also probably should equip, like, the down jump or power jump. There we go, finally mastering that. <laughs> Here, you took one damage. Wow, wow. I like how the Shy Guys come in different colors. That's really cool. Add some color to the world. Haha, <laughs> take that. He's gonna heal himself, so I'm gonna have to charge. And they should finish. Finish him! Take that, you stupid Med Eye guy. They're a lot more annoying in pro mode with their increased defense. Not even their increased attack, it's their increased defense. <laughs> Will this chest over here still have the Defend Plus badge? I kind of hope so. Uh-oh. Okay, change of plans. We are getting rid of the Groove guy. I can't remember if I have Feeling Fine equipped or not. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. Well, they're going to be healed. Darn it. Hey, Mobius. How's it going? Yeah, Meta stupid Meta Ice guy is going to heal everybody. Oh, great. Oh, great! Alright, well, change of plan, then. We go Star Storm, and then we're gonna Power Shell. <laughs> You've been a very bad, bad boy. Because I don't want to deal with these Spy Guys. Huh, well, that's something you don't see every day. Huh. I guess the emulator crash. Uh, no, that's a game crash right there. Well, fortunately, we save very often in Paper Mario Pro Mode, so all we gotta do is reboot the game. I save right before then. <laughs> How am I doing this fine afternoon? Well, it's definitely evening for me. Uh, I'm doing better now that work is over. Work is getting crazy these days. Alright, <laughs> no biggie. That Honestly, that happened at a pretty good time if, for a game crash, because I had literally just saved before going to this new area. I guess I'll have to take out these... I'll have to take out these Sky Guys again.
Submit! Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> that that actually jump scared me right there. <laughs> Glad to see the sound alerts are working. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Perhaps I need to perhaps I need to quiet the volume on that a little bit, but like, like wow. Hurt. <laughs> yep, the sound alerts are working. <laughs> and if people start uh <laughs> Now it's about the time to see if people are able to spam them, and if so, how how will I have to change things? <laughs> Yes, I now have sound effects that people can redeem channel points for, because I didn't really have anything that people could do with channel points. Other than, like, unlocking emotes early. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Nick? Whee! Alright, money, 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 money. I want to end the- I want to end this world with several hundred coins. You think having them require points alone will, will prevent spamming? Yes, but also they only require 100 points to redeem, which is pretty easy to get. Alright, this time we're going to kill Groove Guy early, so we can't call for backup. <laughs> Curse you, Medi Guy. I know, I know. There's There are some bots, I think, that you can program commands to play sound effects. I can't figure out how to make that work, though. I'm too stupid. If I attacked him, he would have just healed, so it's faster to do nothing. I think at this point we've gotten past the groove, guys, so maybe I could take feel and fine off and equip, like, D-down jump, that might- or power jump. I'm not sure how good that would actually be, though. Plus, if World Free was anything to go off of, a lot of the common enemies now have advanced, uh, status effects they can inflict. It is still Defend Plus! Okay, how much BP does that equip- does that take? Because that is very, very good. Let's see, defend plus, defend plus. Only four! Okay, well, that that settles it. We're unequipping feeling fine, we're unequipping payoff, and we're equipping defend plus. <laughs> I wonder if that'll be doubly as effective, or if that's really only going to lower it by one. Well, we're about to find out. Uh-oh! Pyro guy, this is... Ex I was afraid of Pyro Guy. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually headbox Sky Guy. Hopefully trick Medi Guy into healing both of them. Darn it, I didn't get to tattle on him. Well Nice to see that Defend Plus does indeed boost your defense by two. Alright, well that's okay. We can tattle on Pyro Guy later on. Oh boy! Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Oh, hi, shy guy. Oh, hi, groove guy. Oh, hi, Bobum. <laughs> how how nice to see you. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's take care of these guys. I'm still wondering what caused the ROM to crash. If it had something to do with Starstorm. I don't I don't intend on using Starstorm a whole a whole lot, but 
that just seemed like a pretty good time. Because we had bob -ombs and Groove Guys, and we're a little low on HP, at least by Pro Mode standards. Alright, in here, Ice Power? Ice Power increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Will that still let me jump on fiery enemies' heads in this, or did they, did they change the badge? Hmm. Also, how much... Probably only takes one B... That in Thousand Year Door, it, it, Ice Power is one of those badges where it got better in Thousand Year Door, and they decreased the amount of BP needed to equip it. Nope, it's still two. Okay, and and he can jump on. Okay, so Ice Power seems like it's unchanged. Oh, hi. No, I don't like that, Sam. I am. Do I want to use a Thunder Rage to get out of this? Because if I, if I run... No, I'm going to use Thunder Rage to get out of this. Because I don't want to die. <laughs> Beautiful. And now we can tattle on Pyro Guy. Also... Wasted opportunity not naming these guys Fry Guys. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, avoid fighting the Shy Guys that are infinitely spawning. Because they can come with some nasty Pyro Guys. Whoosh! Yeah, I, I don't know why they didn't call them Fry Guys. It, it would have been perfect. Actually, before I before I make my way back home, I'm just going to save in case the ROM decides to crash again. Ah, where would you like to go? Back to Boost Station, please. Thank you so much, Thomas. Oh, I should give that Toad the Sir Topham hat voice. Because he's in charge of the train. <clears throat> that door is sometimes really hard to open. Hey, welcome to Harry's shop. Hey, Harry. Actually, nah. You don't need to store anything for me. Whoosh! Tasty, cheer up! I got you your frying pan back. Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan! You saved it from the Shy Guys. Thank you so much, Mario. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. Tra la 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 la! Here's the cake! We get the cake! Restores 15 FP. This is my most delicious cake! One taste of it won my late darling's heart. I swore I would never make it again, but you're very special, Mario. Aw, well, that's so nice. <laughs> Just one bite will make anyone go gaga. Can I have that in real life? <laughs> hey, uh, Tasty, cook my potato. Cook my iced potato. I bought it in the frozen food section at Meyer, but it should still be okay. Here you are, the recipe's not too bad. And we get the potato salad. It actually refills HP. <laughs> well, hot dog. <laughs> Alright, that's it. <laughs> Gotta take a nap! <laughs> Mario, why do you keep insisting on sleeping in my bed? It just is so comfy. <laughs> it's also the only bed in Toad Town that lets me stay in it. <laughs> I slept so well. You could say I slept swell. Wait, is swell like a contraction of so well? I never thought about it before. Shy Guys stole a full bag of mail from us. Well, I got it back. Oh, that's it, that's it. The bag, thank you, Mario. You'll never know how many people will be happy to get the mail. Let me give you a small thank you gift. Star piece. We've got kind of a lot of those now. Actually, how many do we have? Just out of curiosity. 
22! We are getting pretty close. Alright, if we... At this point, if we unequip... I'm not really using Quake Hammer in this world as much as I thought I would. Is there something good that I could equip for two? I could equip... <laughs> I'm greedy. <laughs> I'm greedy. <laughs> That's just so nice. Man, the thing... <laughs> the things we think about in Artie's streams. <laughs> we think about the English language, among other things. Take me back to the pink station, please. <laughs> what is Thomas the Tank Engine building today? In the, to in the toy box. Do -do 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 -wop 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 -wop. Next up, pink station! Actually, wait. I know I literally two seconds ago just equipped Payoff, but I'm gonna have to equip Quake Hammer. Actually, wait. No, I won't. I'm a big... I'm a big kid now. But we've got Spy Guys and Pyro Guys in this area. I thought there was a hidden block there somewhere. Don't like this guy. Darn it! Okay. Taking out Spy Guy first. Spy Guys are the most annoying guys, because they can take away your ability to do certain moves, like jump- Dark- No, no! <gasps> how did I action guard that? I don't know how I action guarded that. You're welcome. Here you go, Paracarry fans. Shell Shot is literally his only good move. <laughs> and you could argue Air Raid, but by the time you can get Air Raid, you've got better fans. Although, Pro Mode might fix that, because Mega Bomb might be pretty bad, just like Power Bomb. <laughs> Nothing to see there. I thought there was an invisible block. Maybe not. Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary food-loving shy guy. I can't imagine why. <sighs> I'm hungry. Have a cake. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Delicious. This is lip-smacking good. Yum! And he gives us the best item in the game, the cookbook! <laughs> I love Gourmet Guy. Never change. There we- oh, that's where the hidden block was. Super Soda! Oh, barf and cheese! Ah, this is- this warrants a Star Storm. This warrants Star Storm plus Power Shell. Yuck, what an awful combo. Groove Guys and Pyro Guy. Only thing that can make that worse is a Spy Guy. Thank you, Cooper, for being so reliable. And thank you, Money Money, for making me a rich man. Dizzy Dial? I think there's another hidden block around there. Okay, this is not as bad.
these Shy Guys are not too bad. Regular Shy Guys and Sky Guys are pretty easy. Although they are doing a pretty good job of beating me up. I just realized I never equipped at least one of the Attack IVX badges that I have. That's going to change. Oh man, uh, just watch how much money we're getting from this battle. We took quite a lot of damage, and uh, we might get 30 coins. Okay, well, 20 coins dropped. We just didn't pick up one of them. Oh wait, oh, I'm stupid. I never actually got the the fourth attack FX badge. <laughs> Alright. Pull the ever cronk! <laughs> that's how tra that's how railroad tracks fix themselves in real life, too. That's a lot of pyro, guys. I do not like that at all. Dizzy dial. Oh, thank you. Man, I think I'm just going to keep re using Refresh until the end of the game. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Especially with its ability to cure status effects. I guess the Pyro guys are one enemy that uh, the Ice Power Badge would be pretty useful for. Six star points. Oh, look at how fast the spin... That's one thing. People people adore Thousand Year Door, and I love Thousand Year Door too, but the fact that they remove the spinning in the overworld is... A, uh, it's a travesty. Save early, save often. Alright, we got the cookbook. <laughs> We're going back to Blue Station, and we are going to do some cooking. And this is the part of the stream... This is the part of the stream where Artie's just gonna cook stuff. A, like, a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> because I have issues. Why would they do that? I don't know. I don't know why they removed spinning from Thousand Year Door. Oh, also before I forget, I have the melody, but we're going to Club 64. Ooh! Say it so, that's music, no? I believe I've changed this guy's voice every single time he's talked. Hmm. Oh yes, yes, yes. It's the best. With this music, we rejoice, for it will give Pop Diva voice. Now, Chanterelle, please do tell. Will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't la wait long. Oh, it's perfect. So beautiful. But, what if I can't sing it? Hey, hey, it will be okay. You can do it. Nothing to it. Be courageous. Seen it loud. War on, sweet and proud. Yes. I will try to sing. Ha uh ha -huh. Okay. Mario's standing right in front of one of the toads. Oh, 
always be the guy who can just whip out a guitar at a moment's notice and play a song. <laughs> Bravo! Hear, hear! The sweet song has brought me to tears! To Mario, our greatest thanks, because of you, Pop Diva Cranks! I can sing! la -dee. I'm overjoyed. Thank you. You saved me, Mario. I wish I could do more, but here's a small gift. Please treasure it. There we go, that's the Attack FXD badge. Cooper has a giant foot right now. <laughs> this is also the time of the game where it's like, we need a lot of cake mix. We don't need a lot of cake mix, but I like having a lot of cake mix. <laughs> All right, we can check 12 more items. That's great. Let's check some of this maple syrup. Actually, I still want two of them. Yeah, I want two, damn! And we'll check a soup. Actually, we're just going to check basically everything that we can't cook with. Oh, this is also the part of the game I think we can officially stop worrying about money. Because at this point, we unlock the incredibly overpowered ability to cook recipes with two ingredients. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow, we've got actually a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, honey syrup, yes. Uh... Apple, yes. Strange Leaf, yes. <laughs> Mystery, yes. Alright, we're gonna go cooking. Alright. Oh, you have a cookbook! Yeah, I, I could increase my repertoire in an instant with that book. Mario, if it's okay, may I have it? Yes, it's in good hands. Oh, I can have it! Oh, how delightful! With this cookbook, I can use two kinds of ingredients at once to make even more fabulous dishes. You betcha. Alright. <laughs> but for starters, I just want you to cook my mystery. <laughs> what do we get? I have no idea. Probably a mistake, but we could get something better. It's all finished, I don't know, but experience... Oh, we get another potato salad. I'll take it. Next, cook up the strange leaf. For some reason, this recipe only works after you get the cookbook, even though it only needs one ingredient. There are a couple of recipes like that. It's all finished. It's a great experiment. We get a dizzy dial, because, uh, reasons. Next, apple... And cake mix. Here we are, recipes not too bad. We get the apple pie! It looks like a McDonald's apple pie. It doesn't look like a real apple pie. Honey syrup. Super shroom. I love the cooking system in this. It's probably boring to watch, but I like I love it. We get the honey uh, the honey super. Super Shroom. Maple Syrup. If your mushrooms are blue, do not eat them in real life. Maple Super, 10 HP, 10 FP. Mushroom, Maple Syrup. Boom. Maple Shroom. Alright, now it's time for me to actually test to see if they patch this out of Pro Mode, or if it's still here. <laughs> if we can still do it. Oh, a couple things. Let's just say there's one recipe- there are two recipes in particular which, when combined, make something really broken. First, however, we're gonna need a Strange Leaf to get the Strange Cake. Long term. And I think that's actually... Oh, and then we need one for the Deluxe Feast. That's right. I'm 
Don't mind me, I'm just ingredient hunting right now. So I guess if chat wants to, well, chat with me, this is a pretty good time to do it, because I don't really need a lot of concentration. <laughs> Chuck Quizmo's not here. Give me that goom nut. Sup, Goomba Flanders? Oh, here he is. Kawiz, it's Chuck Wizmo. Question. All right, are there four? Apparently there are four. I could have sworn there were only three, but all right. And we get a star piece. You have answered 18 questions. Want to try another one? Question. How many wooden gates do you need to use in Forever Force to reach Boo's Mansion? Um... Not 14, I think 12. No, it's 10. It's not 14. Okay, these are tough questions, but they are fair. Well, some of them are. Alright, Old Reliable Koopa Shop. Store my Strange Leaf. Store my second Strange Leaf. <laughs> Dizzy Dot. Actually, just store, like, all this stuff. Just temporarily. Alright, give me the Koopa Leaf. I'm gonna need some mushrooms as well. Alright. Now I need a bunch of Koopa Leaves. With the magic of Koopa Leaves and mushrooms, you can make wonders occur. At least in the vanilla game. If they if they keep this in pro mode, then we we don't need money money anymore. I'll just say that. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'm just gonna fill myself up with Koopa leaves. Oh, we can't carry anymore? Alright. Okay, time to see... <laughs> time to see if they patch this out, or if it's still incredibly busted. Now that we have the cookbook, the game should get significantly easier, unless they changed some of the recipes. Which I honestly wouldn't blame them if they did, because some of the recipes are really broken. Alright, first, first step. So, Koopa Leaf... And a mushroom. Let's see if this still works. This already, in and of itself, is usually a pretty good recipe. It still works? Okay, still turns it into a Volt Shroom. That's amazing. Alright, now the real question is, Volt Shroom plus another Koopa Leaf, does this still do what I think it does? It does! Okay! We can now get live streams for 8 coins. And sell them for like 30. Koopa Leaf and a Goom Nut is another pretty good recipe. And again, it's literally free to make this because you can get those ingredients for free. Yep, bland meal! Not bad, especially for early game. Do 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 Let's keep cooking some delicious treats today. <laughs> Alright, well this might be something I grind offline to just make a bunch of life shrooms and sell them to get like unlimited money. Just cook my volt shroom. That's a this is another great recipe. Getting unlimited access to volt shrooms is crazy. Do, 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 do. Hot Shroom, 15 HP, 5 FP. That's really good. And I can make another Life Shroom. 
Yeah, so life shrooms, for those who don't know, usually cost at least 40 coins. Until you reach, like, the final shop where it's, they're, like, 35. And now we can get them for 8 and sell them for a profit. It's... it's crazy. And also, life shrooms are just inherently really good items as well, so... You don't even have to show... you don't even have to sell them. Alright, well, if this is the case, I no longer need the money money and payoff badges. I didn't need them to begin with, but, uh... Yeah, I've got a better method of making money, so... I have five F five BP to do with what I please. An FP plus will probably be a good idea. I'm also gonna equip D down jump for those stupid med eye guys. Well, this just got interesting. How much can bland meals sell for? Because bland meals literally take zero coins in order to create. Okay, life shrooms sell for 20 coins apiece. That's that's a that's a 12 coin profit for each life shroom. That's pretty good. All right, now we're gonna buy a bunch of cake. Or actually, okay, first off, what can we mix with cake mix that we already have stored? All right, we're gonna take the Wacka's Bump. We're also going to take one of our Strange Leaves. We're also gonna take a Fire Flower. We're gonna take our other Strange Leaf as well. I wonder if there's a shop later in the game that'll sell Hustle Drinks. Doggone it, Harry. I'm so glad you can buy cake mix now. That's such a great change. I mean, I like how you can also still get it from the Shy Guys and Shy Guys Toy Box, but grinding up Cake Mix could be kind of a pain in the main game. Oh, Taste Tea, I have a lot to cook. Alright. Cake Mix and a Volt Shroom. Do, 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 do. Here, our recipe's not too bad. We get the Electro Pop, 15 FP. I think that also makes you electrified. Cake mix and strange leaf. Do, 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 do. And we get the strange cake. It makes him transparent, sleepy, or electrific electrified. I don't like the random chance stuff, so I'll probably sell the cake. Now cake mix plus a fire flower. <laughs> this makes a rather amusing item. Do, do, do. Makes the fire pop, it restores 20 FP, but it makes you lose 1 HP. You can literally kill yourself by eating a lollipop. It's hilarious. Cake mix. Life shroom. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here we get the sweet shroom, 30 HP, 20 FP. That's gonna be great for the late game. Speaking of late game items, whack his bump. And a strange leaf. One of their specialties, Deluxe Feast, 40 HP, 40 FP. That's very, very good. <laughs> do, do, do. Hey, Harry. All right, Harry. First up, I'm gonna sell you this strange. Oh, only ten coins. Still worth it. I'm not. I'm not keeping that stored for nothing. 
You can only check six more items? Wow. Well, bully for me. All right, Chuck Quizmo, where are you hanging out? He's never in Goomba Village. He's pretty much always either in Koopa Village or in Dry Dry Outpost. I want to answer more of his questions, though. If I get a couple more star pieces, I can get Power Plus. <laughs> and I can actually equip it. Here he is. Cowiz, it's Chuck Quizmo. Question. How many wooden gates? Okay, I think it's only 10. What? There is no way it's 14. Oh, wait. I forgot that each screen has two gates. Alright, well, um, all of these Chuck Quizmo questions, I end up exhausting every possible use on, which is not fun. I just realized that I am not filled up on HP and stuff. Thankfully, there's a heart block here. Boom. Boo, boo, boo. Dire Fox 20, or 240, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Uh, despite what it looks like, we are on Chapter 4 of Paper Mario, but I'm going back and grinding up uh, recipes. Reci <laughs> uh, ingredients for recipes. <laughs> Which is why I'm back here in the desert. How are you guys doing tonight, everybody? <laughs> this is Paper Mario Pro Mode, for those who don't know. So it's hard mode, basically, for the game. And they've changed some stuff. As you can see, the Dry Dry Desert is now a little less flat. Oh, it's... and also, something I haven't... <laughs> I love Cooper's pose when he's in midair. <laughs> it's great. Uh, how many letters do I have that I have not delivered? I have one for feist tea and one for must tea. Okay. I should probably get, get, a little, get along with those. Give me some dried pasta. I'm gonna need it. Do 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 Playing some new Pokemon Snap. Very nice. That's the Pokemon game where you like take photos of the Pokemon, right? That's one of the few Pokemon games that I I, I don't think I played it, but I've seen people play it. It's interesting. Do do all right, we gotta stock up on leaves so we can make a salad with them. All right, here you are, you, <laughs> you wormy jerk, changing up all the questions on me. Question. All right, it's fourteen. I know that because I've got. I've. An this is my third time answering it. <laughs> Here's our star piece. We've answered nineteen questions, but we're not done yet. Let's go to the next question. Question. One of the toads has a crush on Merlovely. Which color is? He? What? I don't know about the gossip. Blue? I That was a shot in the dark, but at least I finally got one right on the first try. Star piece. We've answered 20 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's try the next one. Question. Which of these dishes are available on the Sailor's Lunch Special at Club 64? What? Fishy fry? I hope it's fishy fry. It's a not a fishy fry! Oh no! <laughs> How would you know that? Okay, these new Chuck Quizmo questions are just proving to me that I actually don't know squat about Paper Mario. I'm just I'm just a hack. <laughs> do 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 This might be a good spot to find some ingredients. 
Oh, one other thing I need to check. The radio house. Is there a new trading event going on? I think they said last chapter there was going to be a new one soon. In Hot Hits Music. Information station, but seriously, folks, ta da 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 dum Attention, listeners, because here's your big chance to win! Anyone who takes a nutty cake to the front of the Dry Dry Ruins will be the running... Oh, what? Look for... Oh, no! That's actually going to be difficult. Dry Dry Ruins is hard to find in this version. All right, well, uh, the race is on. Guess I'm getting another Goom Nut. All right, I had to check for Chuck Quizmo. Kaboom! All right, well, uh, we gotta hurry. <laughs> Doggone it, Koopa Coot, you ate my uh, my only other nutty cake. I gotta make a new one now. <laughs> oh, I'm just nutty about this cake, Mario. Too bad you need it for the trading side quest. No. <laughs> Stop it, Koopa Coot. <laughs> They d they didn't they didn't modify the location of the ruins, but they've modified the desert itself to make it di more difficult to navigate. So like there will be just like pits of quicksand that block you from going certain directions. All right, thanks for the nutty cake. What's this toad doing out in the middle of the desert? Like I need a nutty cake. <laughs> for it's for a game show. <laughs> Also, I don't think I've saved in a while. I probably should, because uh, I don't want the game crashing on me. <laughs> Which it has done earlier on in this stream. Yeah, so you can see, like, there's a pile of sand right here, and normally, and you need the super block to get over it. Or the super hammer to get over it. Which makes it a bigger pain in the butt to navigate when you are, uh... When you're, uh... Go coming here for the first time. Oh yeah, I guess there is a Tweester over here. I forgot about him. Act, no, Pokies, I don't have time for you. I have got to get to the, tra the trading side quest. Oh, here we go. Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> Hey, dude. T talk to him, Mario! I'm the Toad from the trading event. Here's your nutty cake, buddy. Congratulations! This is the item for today. It's a maple super... I already have one of those. Use it wisely. See you at the next trading event. Your old school strat is useless for this version. Uh, yeah, a lot of the strats that work in the vanilla version don't work in this. It's gonna be easier for me to just go back to Mount Rugged. This way I can get another Wackus Bump and an egg. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been back to Mount Rugged. <laughs> this is the episode where it's like, oh, did you are, did you want to see Artie actually, like, you know, get farther in the game? No, I'm just going to go around and cook a bunch of stuff. <laughs> this always happens whenever I reach Shy Guy's Toy Box. When, and then you get the cookbook. <laughs> I know! Yeah, if you hit him en enough times, you accidentally kill him. And then he drops a bunch of money for you. Wacko works slightly differently in uh, pro mode, though. Oh! I, I forgot about this. Is the panel up? No, the panel's in the middle of all the Monty Moles. Okay, folks. We're actually going to equip Spin Attack Badge. Because I don't want to deal with these dumb old moles. Darn it. <laughs> Just kill them, Cooper. I don't want to deal with them. I could have just jumped on the first one and then used Shell Toss. I, eh, that, was, that was a mistake. <laughs> I love the animation when you use Spin Attack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh wow, thanks for the honey syrup. Alright, I know the panel's around here somewhere. 
can't fool me, game. I've played this before. Uh, there you go. I forgot about that one. It's good I came back to Mount Rugged. Oh, why, yeah, 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 I get, I get sidetracked by the recipes. Whack! Ow! What's wrong with you, you lunatic? I'll take, teach you to pick on me. Yeah, if you want the Wacka's bump, you now have to fight Wacka in this version. It's hilarious. Does he have more HP than he did last time? And more defense? I think he has more defense. <laughs> wow, he jumped. And his hole jumped with him. You know, Paracarry... I literally use Paracarry only for Shell Shot. <laughs> Yeah, Wacka, Wacka is actually tougher on the second... Because I fought him once before. He's actually tougher this time. He has defense now and a little more HP, and I think a little more attack. Did not mean to do that attack. I am so bad at timing that. One of the reasons I hate Paracarry, generally. I meant to use Shell Shot. do 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 Nice! We defended ourselves. Finish him! <laughs> Apparently, so I thought that they, like, programmed in a new enemy as Wacka. Wacka, wow! I can't take this abuse! Oh no, I'm all full on stuff. Um. We can get more Koopa leaves. Those are a dime a dozen. Yeah, apparently, I thought that they, like, literally had to program new stuff in for Wacka. Apparently, Wacka was fully programmed in the game as an enemy that was going to be in it, but then they just patched him out. So all they did was basically would just use the actual code for the game. Which is kind of funny. Alright, I can't help myself. We're going back to Toad Town. <laughs> We're gonna make some recipes. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Hey, Nintendo Addict, how's it going? Yep, Zap Tap. Does, does Zap Tap makes Wacka a lot easier. He normally pops up multiple times and hits you a, a couple times, but Zap Tap just puts a stop to him. <laughs> Mar <laughs> Mario, the train was at Toad Town. How did we, you know we were going to be at Mount Rugged? Thank goodness the train just happened to be there. Toad Town, Toad Town. I also haven't checked out to see if the play the playroom is any different, but I don't like gambling, so. Hey, Feist T. Shy guys have been raising a ruckus all over town, but compared to ghosts, shy guys are nothing. You're Feist T, the guard uh, over here, right? Here's your letter. Another letter duly delivered. I wonder who Bootler is. Oh, oh no! No! This is from that ghost! It says, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! You have scaring me! You think you a really creepy darkness? Oh, woe is me! I'll never sleep! Get hold of yourself, Ice Tea! Stand tall! Fear not! It'll be okay! Here, take this! Thanks for giving me a star piece for traumatizing you. That, that's surprisingly nice of him. Do, 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 hand by hand. Alright. Cooking time, Woody. Alright. Let's just cook up the Wacka's Bump. Wacka's Bump refills 25 HP and 25 FP. If you cook it up, you get a special thing called the Yummy Meal, which only restores 20 HP and 20 FP, which is actually a downgrade. But it's one of the only ways that you can really cook it. The other way, I think, involves an Ultra Shroom, and I'm like, haha, <laughs> nope. Mushroom and Honey Syrup. Do, 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 do. I don't even know why I'm trying to go after all the recipes. It's like I'm trying to 100% pro mode, which I, I low-key am. Alright, Koopa Leaf Dried Pasta. I'm going to be saving that for uh, when Koopa Koot inevitably wants... It's like, I really need pasta that has a leaf in it. <laughs> I just love basil. Yeah, no wasting Ultra Shrooms. Although I think I already did. I uh, used an Ultra Shroom to make a Shroom Steak, and technically you can make the Shroom Steak by cooking, I think, like, 
a super shroom and a life shroom, which is significantly easier to get a handle on, but... Oh, only we can only check two more items. This is not good. Alright, we can store no more. I do not want to buy the Tasty Tonic, as a matter of fact. Also, I just realized stone caps are no longer a thing. Oh, I'm all full. Rats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gonna be like, alright, we're fi we're finally done making recipes. Time to continue Chai Guy's Toy Box. And that's all the time we have for this stream. <laughs> that's basically how it's gonna go. Alright, cake mix. Goom nut. You'd think this would just make the nutty cake, but no. Apparently if you add additional cake mix to the already nutty cake, you get a big cookie? Apparently? I thought you needed one of the berries for that. Nope. The things you learn. Oh, guys. I want people to vote. Should I use the lemon candy to get Anti-Guy's chest, or should I actually, like, genuinely try to beat him for real? I think I already know the answer, but... Because you can cheese him, get past his chest without fighting him if you give him lemon candy. Because I don't think Anti-Guy is going to have any more defense or HP, but he's going to be able to do um, 24 damage with a single attack. I also can tattle on him, because he's just a common enemy walking around in one of the areas, so I won't even miss out on the tattle. Beat him for real, you didn't know about the lemon candy thing, though? Yeah. The lemon candy strat, uh, Rusty, will, uh, tell you about it if you talk to him enough. Oh, before I forget, Musty. Also, how many star points do I have? Star pieces do I have at this point? If I have 25, then, uh, we are going shopping. We have 27. Alright, power plus time, Woody. Alright. You're Musty, correct? I'm Paracaria. I've got a letter for you. It's a letter from our friends! Oh, it's from Mr. Goompop, the old codger. We think alike, he and I. It's been ages since I saw him. Too long, indeed. This reminds me, I was just thinking about sending a letter to my third to Canada. <laughs> Take it to Coover. Alright. <laughs> this is literally side quests, the, the stream. Alright, I think we can get Power Plus from this guy, and if so, our game's about to change! We can get anything. We can get... Uh, we don't need Flower Fanatic. We already have Flower Saver. We're getting Power Plus. We only need 4 BP for that?! <gasps> what?! Man, the... The only badge that they made ha cost more BP to equip... The only badge that costs more BP to equip in this one is Power Bounce, and they nerfed it way too much. Okay, what can we take off? We could take off damage. Oh, wait, do we still... No, we don't have Group Focus equipped. All right, well... Out of all of these, I'm going to unequip FP+. Plus. We are definitely equipping Power Plus. Power Plus is crazy good. All right, and... I think out of all of these, Quake Hammer is probably the best. Oh man! Now Defend Plus and Damage Dodge will make you deal uh, take two less damage. I wonder if they made Power Plus better as well if we deal two extra damage. Probably not because the enemies don't have more HP, but it will be interesting to know. Yeah, Musty is in Musty Old Grandpa. Yeah, pretty much every Toad in this game has a name that's a pun, which is fantastic. I'm a big fan of puns myself. Boom. Oh, man. <laughs> if we... It, guys, if we beat Anti-Guy, then we get another Power Plus. It's gonna be crazy. Alright. Let's just check in. Alright, we have Honey Candy. So I just want a Mushroom. 
do. I, I was always disappointed as a kid that, like, mixing cake mix and a snowman doll didn't make, like, ice cream. Snowman dolls do not make any recipes, as far as I can- as far as I know. Alright, I gotta find Chuck Quizmo again, wherever he is. Let me guess, is he back in Koopa Village? I want more Star P- I need more Thunderbolts! Also gotta deliver the letter to Coover. Are you back here? Uh, sure as cuss you are. <laughs> Alright, Chuck Wismo. Oh, I should have checked this beforehand. Seafood soup? There we go! Now, if that was what was uh, for Jolly Rogers Lagoon's menu, I could have answered that. Alright, let's try another one. Ten bucks says I get it wrong. Question, how many apples can you find in Boo's Mansion? Um... Infinite, if you keep leaving and coming back, but otherwise, uh, only two. Correct! Alright, I guess I'm out ten bucks. <laughs> Question! What is the color of the roof in the house of Koopa Village where you can listen to a radio? Uh, that's got... I thought that had a green roof. I think it's blue. No, the, the other houses have green roofs. You were literally standing right in front of it, but you can't see it because our backdrop is up! Question! What event has to be cancelled after Princess Peach's castle disappeared? What? The cooking contest. Correct! I can't believe I remembered that. Wow, we are on a roll. We still haven't even answered half the questions, though. Question! What giant furniture piece cannot be found in Tubble Wubba's castle? Uh, you can't find a trunk. Correct! No, no tree trunks in Tubble Wubba's castle. See, now these questions are getting a little easier. Question! What did I have for lunch? What? Dried fruit be because you're a worm? No, Koopa leaf because you're a worm. Worms also eat fruit, though. Some of these questions are weird. Some of these questions are weird, man. How are things going, Mario? Ah, you're Coover, correct? Here's a letter from our friends. Mail time, mail time, mail time, mail time! Oh boy, we're, we're, we're in the thick of it now. <laughs> The letter side quest kind of takes too long. Do, do, do. Alright, I think we have time to make like two more recipes and then we end the stream, potentially? <laughs> Because, again, I try to keep these uh, Monday-Wednesday streams at around a, an hour and a half just because I have to get up for early get up early for work. And I, I don't know about you guys, but it's fairly late at night here. And by, and by, and by late at night, I mean it is 9.30 p.m. <laughs> you have to understand, though, I, I'm an old man. I'm like, at 10.30, I should have been in bed by now. <laughs> I, not even 25, and I'm already, like, an old codger. All right, we're gonna make <laughs> we're gonna make some desserts. I do not recommend you put mushrooms in your cakes in real life. That will not be a hit at the local party. But in the world of Mario, where everybody is addicted to these organic mushrooms, we get shroom cake. It's also purple for some reason. If your mushrooms in real life are purple, don't eat them. All right, <laughs> cake mix, Koopa leaf. <laughs> doo doo. Yeah, yeah. It's a running gag among my friends. Here you are, this recipe's not too bad. We get the kooky cookie! Electric sleepy or transparent. And 15 FP. Alright. I guess one last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see how much stuff that I have stored that I can sell, or that I should sell. Some of this stuff I'm gonna save for the future, but... Which of these could I sell? Fire Pop, I have no problem selling. 
I'll sell one of my maple supers. Is that all I have? That's all the room I have? Alright. Oh, wow, maple super sell for a lot! Dang, I might sell both of them. Fire Pop also sells for a lot. I'm doing this partially to get money and also partially just to free up room in my storage. Yummy Meal is only 15 coins? Really? Alright, Honey Shroom at this point in the game, it's just not worth it. It doesn't give you enough. I just realized, Honey Candy and Lime Candy do the exact same thing. How did I never know that? Actually, a lot of these items. And the big cookie! These free items are effectively identical. Oh, man. The big cookie's just flat out better. It's cheaper... <laughs> it's cheaper to make. <laughs> Alright, well, if that's the case... I'm gonna sell the cookie cookie, because I don't like the randomness involved with it. Alright... Maple Shroom is also another one that I don't think is going to be worth it. It just doesn't give you enough. Possibly same with the Honey... Eh, honey Super, maybe. Okay, Super... At this point, I think... I think we don't really need our Super, our super Sodas anymore. I'm also not going to hold on to Dizzy Dials. I know this has been a riveting episode. Especially since we're going to get another Super Soda in Shy Guy's Toy Box, courtesy of Ma uh, Kami Koopa. Oh man, the Maple Shrooms sell for a decent amount. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Alright. <laughs> I think that's good, uh, and then we're going to store... We can only store six more items, really. A lot of these FP refilling items I don't really need. Just because I don't even- I only have 15 FP to begin with, and that's- I think that's only because I have a FP Plus equipped. Alright, Bland Meal will be good. We're gonna want the Bland Meal. I'm gonna take some of our, like, lesser- we, we need health refilling items and stuff that doesn't refill a whole bunch of FP. That's what I'm feeling. Potato Salad? Oh, we have two Potato Salads. Maybe we could- s no, no, no. Potato Salad is a valuable healing item. I'm also going to take the Thunderbolt. I should also take the Spaghetti. The Spaghetti is one of those items where, like, it's really not going to be useful after this world. <laughs> Alright, next up we go to Green Station. I think at this point we've tattled on everything except the boss and the mini-boss, so I don't think we even need Goombario anymore. <laughs> Where would you like to- I, I didn't want to actually go to Pink Station, I wanted to go to Green. That was me being trigger happy. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> Rubbish, said Sir Topham Hat. It's Pink Station! <laughs> actually, I changed my mind! I want to go to Green Station! Mario, you literally two seconds ago just said you wanted to go to Pink Station. <laughs> I, it was a snip of the ton, and you didn't let me correct it, you just insisted I get on the train. <laughs> Green Station's a fun station. Green Station, Green Station! Alright, there's our star piece, and I think that's gonna have to cut it for the stream tonight. We actually went a little bit over time, but I got carried away. <laughs> I love making recipes just so much. Thanks for watching, folks! Thanks for coming and hanging out, it was a lot of fun. I will be continuing these Paper Mario streams Monday and Wednesday again, so next week, Monday and Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. It's always a lot of fun. And then Saturdays, I'm, I've had enough of doing the Fire Emblem Hector Hard Mode uh, Iron Man, so I'm going to try to find something else to do Saturday streams that are at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm, think, I'm leaning towards the Episode 1 Pod Racing game, but it could, that is subject to change. Just, I don't know, if you guys want to hang out then, that's always fun. Thanks for joining in. Thanks again, uh, Dire Fox, for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your night, and God bless.